it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog. And I'm here with my good friend Joe Samet. Uh, for those of you who've been reading my blog for the last few years, you know Joe. Joe is my mortgage broker. Joe and I have done uh, probably about 100 deals together. And uh, we're going to do a regular feature on my blog from now on where Joe and I sit down together and talk about the market, mortgage market that is. Uh, so Joe, everyone's got March 18th in their head. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain to me and to everyone else what are the changes that we need to be concerned about? March 18th uh, was a very important day in the mortgage market. Uh, the finance minister came up with new rules that went into effect on Friday, and these new rules affect uh, first-time home buyers, um, existing homeowners, but not to as, as severe a degree as perhaps some people thought or as some people are reporting. Uh, one of the things that it has done is it's uh, limited the maximum amortization from what was is now or was 35 years. It's now a maximum of 30 years for first-time home buyers, right. uh, or under the CMHC rules. And uh, the other area that it has affected is on the amount of equity that the current homeowners can take out of their home. Okay, the so, so everyone knows about the 30 to 35 year. Can you elaborate on the second point? You're talking about when you take money out of your house to buy a speedboat or, or whatever it is yeah. people do today, buy a flat screen TV. If you are taking equity out of your home suit, again, you're an existing homeowner or current, uh, current homeowner, you can, um, historically, you can take up to 90% of the value of your house suit. Okay. So, for example, on a $400,000 value, you could quite easily take up to $360,000 of that equity out of the property. That's what changed the effect of Friday. The maximum amount of equity that somebody could take out of their home now is up to 85%. Gotcha. So what somebody would be doing would, to take equity out would be to, as you said, buy a speedboat, buy an investment property, expand a real estate portfolio, uh, or different types of investments. But they're now limited to 85% of the equity out of their home. Okay, okay. Um, also regarding March, getting ready for their RSPs. Can you tell us how this is affecting the mortgage market or more specifically first-time home buyers? RSP, this is a very, very timely uh, conversation mm -hmm. because RSPs, deadline for RSPs is April the 3rd, or pardon me, the deadline for RSPs was February the 28th. Yeah. Um, so anybody that has had uh, the opportunity to put money into an RSP, they're benefiting by that now on their 2010 personal income tax year. Okay. Anybody that has not yet put money into an RSP but plans to or wants to, they can benefit by putting money into some sort of an RSP or registered investment for RSP purposes. Uh, they can put the money in now using it for next year's tax return for a 2011 tax year. But as long as the money is in the RSP for 89 days, they can then take up to $25,000 in for the down payment of a house. Okay. So anybody that's okay. thinking about potentially getting into the market that hasn't yet capitalize on their RSP contribution levels, now would be a great time to do it. Have it in for 89 days, take it out on the 90th day for the purpose of a down payment on that. So that was that was one of my, my follow-up questions. Uh, what's the maximum that people can take out? 25,000 per individual. So, okay. uh, so do you have a joint times. RSP? Uh, joint RSPs are very, very uncommon nowadays. They, okay. used, to, they used to be quite, quite common. They were called spousal RSPs. Okay, so two people, 25,000 each, you're saying they can each go Precisely. in? Okay. And then it take, you have 15 years to pay that back. Uh, so you have a two year grace period over the first two years. Yeah. And then essentially you have the ability to pay it back into your RSP. And a lot of first time buyers are doing this. Oh, without question. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, so just uh, as a final thought, everyone's concerned with rates. Tell us about rates. Are they going up? Are they going down? Are they good? Well, that's the million dollar question. But rates right now are very, very stable. Yes. Uh, we have rates um, that are below the 4% mark, which is quite attractive. Even uh, again, regardless of all the changes that have gone through in the marketplace lately, uh, but interest rates are very, very attractive. There's no sign of them going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, they're not going up. They're not coming down. Let's just assume they're going to stay the same. But at the same time, we need to put it in perspective. With interest rates at the four percent or better than four percent mark, this is a fantastic time to be buying. It would be a fantastic time to buy even if they were at the four and a quarter, four and a half percent mark. So putting it in perspective, interest rates right now are at the bottom of the interest rate spectrum, and they're at the lowest level, uh, or at some of the lowest levels of Canadian mortgage history. So it's a great time. I got a 4.99, that was five years ago, and I'm not hurting, so. It's great, it's a great marketplace right now with rates. Okay. What do you think, guys? Should we do this every month? Maybe uh, next time I'll give Joe the, the chair with arms. I feel like the king here. All right, Joe, thanks for your time. Appreciate thanks it. So we'll do this again in a month.